Welcome to the Tally Mark. My name is Tally, your favorite name to say and your favorite name to hear. With me is Jordan, my fiance, and Ezekiel, nice my friend. To nice to meet you. Hi. Honored to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Today's topic is threesomes, two girls and one guy. And we have Jordan here because she is the other girl in my threesome with another guy. So, and Ezekiel's here because he's had a threesome with two women. Now that we're good on the logistics of things, uh, what do you want to start with? You want to do? This is the first podcast that I don't have scripted oh, you don't questions. Have any questions. Yeah. Oh. Wherever you guys like to start, you know. We're gonna go off the cuff. We're gonna yeah. go with. Um, how did you? Did you plan your threesome? Uh, to an extent, it was basically me and a partner already. We were already sexually active. We've also had. She was actually bi. Okay. Hmm. So, it was always brought up the topics like, oh, like this girl's like you know fine or she actually has a body or whatever mm-hmm. the case is and it turns out to be one of our other co-workers oh so me and her were co-workers okay and then it turns out to be we asked her like oh you know like have you ever been part of you know something bigger like <laughs> like <laughs> in the bed yeah, yeah. <laughs> like she's like well i've always you know she has a lot of sexual partners and she has a very high sex drive okay so then we're like okay perfect and she just willingly shared no, this No, well, the funny part was I had been hooking up with both of them on separate occasions. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh-huh. So you had a personal relationship with each. Yeah. Okay. And the funny part is, I'm just trying to say, it, this place was just a zoo for, like, everyone was, like, fucking everyone. Okay. Oh. And, yeah, uh, eventually we're like, oh, you know, have you ever thought of having a threesome? I'm pretty sure it's every guy's fantasy to have a threesome. Yeah, so, I agree. Even for females, like, okay, I want to have a threesome as well. We eventually started talking about it, but, you know, stuff came up. We're like, oh, we can't, or I don't know about it. Like, what if other people find out? Mm-hmm. Case in point. Did you all work together? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, one of them ended up quitting prior to that, but yes. Okay. The one that you invited into your relationship? Yeah. Okay. So then... Okay, so you were in a relationship and you talked previously, and she was bi. That's a good situation, good setup. Mm-hmm. Um, for ours, Jordan and I, um, as we know, I used to have give blowjobs for money. Big into sex acts for money. It's a good way to make money, especially when you can't legally work. So uh, when Jordan and I got together, I was 18, and I was planning on going full-fledged. Now that I was officially legal, I could show my ID. And so like the bigger paying men... Um, my plan was always to like go for them because the bigger paying men always wanted like verification of my age. So that was my plan. But then when I met Jordan and we got in a relationship, um, I couldn't do that. So then you want to talk? No, I didn't have anything to say. I was well, just you keep on say, opening your mouth. Or... No, I was just replaying the story in my head. <laughs> I see. So <laughs> then when we got together, I um, offered those whatever situations I said we can make big money because we're both young and cute and we're already in a relationship so we don't mind touching each other and we can like you know we can go for it Mm -hmm. but she didn't like older men for the longest time but I think after like a year I want to say we decided but also I was pretty young I was not of legal age yet no she was not and so it was I was nervous about it. I was. But you did it. But I did it. Okay. So I just want to make sure that we're good because the last thing I want to do is re-record. Anyway. So, yeah, she wasn't. She was still, how old were you, 15? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 15. So we, after a year, you were 16. Yeah. And... You decided to come to the dark side. Yeah. And we got on Seeking Arrangements, Class A website. Highly recommend. Especially if you come into money when you're older, you need some female companionship. (laughs) Just make sure the girl's real. Real. I don't think I'm going to worry about that with. uh, You know what? You never know. You don't know what your life's going to (laughs) bring. So. 
we got on seeking arrangements and we put up a little profile and we and we did it uh but first we did tinder did we not i think the very f- beginning and we met with this one guy he was weird he was like ex-mormon or something and oh yeah he, he was, was like, really weird yeah he, he also was... lived in the house with like other people and this is a grown-ass man in fresno, in fresno. it's not like la where like you need roommates to like okay. yeah. it's in fresno where you could easily afford your own place yeah and we didn't even have sex we gave him head in a parking lot we gave him head in the parking lot first in his kia in the broad daylight in the back of a movie theater <laughs> <laughs> it was so <laughs> awkward my mom called me in the middle of it too <laughs> and again he he was very skeptical of how old i was but I was like, I'm 18. Like, we don't advise. Let me just. I need to say this for the viewers. Of course. We do not advise tricking older men into having sex with you if you are underage. We Your mind is not developed yet. I don't care if you're attracted to it. It's illegal, and you shouldn't do it. However, I have sympathy for all you young ladies because I also was attracted to older men. But that's besides the point. We know our mistakes now, we're over 18 now, and we could talk about it. Disclaimer. Anyway, so yes, we were in the back. It wasn't, like, the door was open, I think, right? His of bedroom? the back seat. Oh. No. I think so. I think Yeah, it was. the door was, like, open of his back seat, but we were in his back seat giving him head, and then he was like, oh, I live, like, right around here, so let's go over here. And then we... Went into his weird ass house. There was like I feel like a bird or something. There was like some weird. He had pet. like the bright green, not bright green, but like grass green carpet, like seventies green. Yeah, shag Just carpet. Just to give you a visual. His we- room was weird. He had a small ass TV. For oh a my grown god, man. what was he playing on it? The it was office like the or office. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but still. So then, like, he was awkward, and he was like, it was all bad. But we just gave him head. There was no, pe- and that was like our. Dipping our toes in to see if we could do this for money. Okay. But we didn't even. But get it to was try. really weird because we were both butt ass naked, and like he didn't really touch any, either one of us. It was just like I feel like wasn't his hand like claw? He, it was like on my back. Yeah. I feel like. And then like in the middle of it, he kept being like, "Are you sure you're 18? Are you sure you're 18?" Like, bro, you're killing the mood. Yeah. We said like, just shut sure. the fuck up. Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> yeah. We're so here. then I think he was like, just because I don't know for sure if you're 18, he nutted into her a mouth. Not in her. Hmm. But Which I was doesn't like, even make, doesn't any make sense. sense. You're still doing a sexual act with somebody who's not 18. What? Because what? She can't do it like a kit on you? Yeah. Like, um, I don't know. That was our... But we have many... We have better stories with actual penetration. So yeah. now, yeah. your story. I want the setting. I want the, the time of the year. I want the... All of it. Okay. Did you did you shave for this? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, you just went in full. Wait, yeah. how many have you had? I've only had one, and it was with just these two girls. Okay. And it's only because I like to think of myself as a pleasure. I get pleasure off, like, pleasuring other women. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of girls, like, Oops. want that pleasure. There's some guys that are like, oh, I want to pleasure myself. No, like, mm-hmm. I like doing what I'm doing, like, you know, eating a girl out or, you know, yeah. making them feel what they want to feel. Mm-hmm. So, naturally, that's with both of them. I was not, I would, you know, give yeah. them head up to both and it was easy for me and then usually after that we would start having sex and then naturally with one of them since i was dating her we were like talking about it and we had told her it's like oh you know i found out that you're actually sleeping with him as well um how would you like to you know be in a threesome and she's like i'm not sure you know like what do people from work find out case in point might get fired this and that Mm -hmm. so we eventually talked about it and it came probably towards the end of Maybe 2017? No, 2016. Okay. Right as I was about to quit, too. Mm -hmm. So we eventually talked about it, and we had a party that we were going to. Me and my partner were going as, you know, together. Mm -hmm. The other one would show up with whoever she was going to show up. Mm -hmm. And eventually that night, we were drinking a lot. We were smoking. And then towards the end of the night, um, we all talked about it. And we're like, do you want to do it now? And eventually it got done. <laughs> it did. Where was it? It was in Studio City. It was at a hotel. Oh, oh. who paid for the hotel? Well, the party was already at the hotel. Um. So eventually we just went downstairs and we're like, can we book a room for like oh. the night? And then it was like, I think 125 for like two nights. 
because they weren't gonna just give us one room for like the night so we're like okay so one night and a day i believe is what they were asking mm-hmm. so then we pay like 125 for it i see and you split it no i ended up paying for it i see i was like mm, might as well i'm gonna just stay here the whole day then <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have work the next day there you go <laughs> and then okay so you're drunk you're at a party did do you know the other people at the party uh yes a lot of our co-workers there and then you know extra people, people from i don't know who they are and did they like were you careful to like leave at special increments oh no oh you you no. all three just left yeah for the most part um let's just give her the name maria for this okay for the segment <laughs> uh maria she's like oh i'm not feeling well i want to go home is this the or is maria your partner no maria's um the extra, the extra. okay for this one, we're just going to give her Sue. Okay. Sue, Sue is your partner and Maria is your fake, is your extra. Okay. Yeah. So me and Sue, we're already going to leave. We're like, you know, me and her are leaving. I can drink a lot without getting, you know, hammered. Yeah. Um, I'm a bigger guy, so it takes a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, Maria was basically, I don't feel well. I was like, I want to go home. So then we're like, Sue was like, oh, we can give you a ride home. Mm-hmm. Good alibi. Good yeah. one. Mm-hmm. So we ended up just going downstairs to the lobby and just booking the room. Nice. Was there sexual tension at the party? Uh, yes. There was a lot. For the most part, there was two guys. Like I said, our place is like, I'm not saying these two girls weren't like hot, but they were like hot. Okay. They were like basically everyone wanted to get at them. Okay. And some of them did. And they're like, okay, it's a party. I'm going to get here. You know, mm-hmm. we're going to drink. If we have a good time, we're probably going to leave together. So Sue was trying to be like, oh, no, I was like. Stay with us. And I was like, oh, come on, man. Like, you're, <laughs> you're burning it over here. Mm-hmm. And then eventually Sue was basically kind of protecting her the whole time. She said, oh, don't. She's like, she's with us tonight. Um, she's not going to go home. She's like, I don't think she can go home with you guys, especially if she's drinking a lot. Mm-hmm. The truth is she wasn't even drinking a lot. She only drank maybe like one or two beers. So she was like relatively sober. Yes. Okay. So she was going along with these excuses. Yes. Even before you guys decided that that was the night. Yeah. So in her head, she probably knew that, like, yes. shit was going to go down. Okay. Yeah. At the same time, I'm not trying to take advantage of any drunk girl. Right. So me and my partner, I mean, me and my partner were going to have sex either way. But just for the sake of it, we're like, okay, we don't want to get this girl drunk. And next you know, like, if yeah. chance, something bad happens. Yeah. So, yeah. So then you, okay, so then around what time is it? Like one? Yeah, close to maybe like one thirty, two o'clock. Okay, and then you go up to your room, and then immediately. And, um, it's first foreplay for the most part. Um, Sue likes to tease a lot, mm. so she would tease Maria a lot. Okay. And then I would just be there, like you know, standing and like watching, watching, observing. Mm-hmm. And then it came to the point where Maria was basically saying, "Oh, why don't you join in?" So I would join in, and I ended up uh, starting off with Sue giving her head, and. While I was giving Sue head, Sue would give Maria head. So okay, then, so it's like a little train of yeah. yes juices. Yeah. <laughs> and then I would go from Sue to Maria, and then I'll give her head while she would give Sue head. And, and then, who is giving you head? Like I said, I'm, I like giving the pleasure. Nah, the pleasure man. Master. You got to go for the 69 triangle. <laughs> oh, God. The 69 triangle. We'll, we'll tell you. Okay. We'll tell you. <laughs> so then after that, um, basically, Sue started stripping down. Furthermore, and Maria started stripping down. Mm-hmm. And they were both then at that point just... Naked. Naked, and then they started um, giving me head. Okay. And then from there, I had ended up giving Maria a thought. I was like, oh, why don't you, you know, pull on Sue's hair? She likes it when she gets pulled. Okay. So then she would start pulling her hair, and she was getting more enticed into it. Mm-hmm. And then from there, we ended up... I think I, if I remember correctly, I gave Sue first penetration, then I would um, give Marie, Maria. So were they, okay, so for the double blowjob, mm-hmm. you're standing and they're both kneeling yes. below you? And then for the penetration, they're both in missionary facing you? Uh, no, um, Sue was on basically, I guess, the corner of the bed. Mm-hmm. And I was behind her, so I guess standing. doggy style. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. And then Maria was in front of her, like, kissing her. Mm, I see. And how many orgasms do you say were had that night? I don't remember. <clears throat> many orgasms? Yeah. 
It's a good night. It's a good night. Was there music? Uh, no, Ashley. <laughs> oh, just no! Silent. Just the button. <laughs> Ugh. I hate that. You gotta have the music. Especially for a threesome. Because you're gonna remember that for the rest of your life. I don't think they're gonna forget. Oh, no. oh he's <laughs> confident now. Okay, then. Um, I had more questions. So, like, how, well, how many times did you orgasm? Probably maybe, like, about five times. Five times? How long did this last? Probably, like, 45 minutes. That's crazy. Maybe. 45 minutes and five times. Okay, so the first one was from the blowjob. Mm -hmm. Second one was from penetration. Yes. Third, fourth, fifth. Uh, basically, blowjobs from Maria because I'm not. She gives better head than Sue. Oh. oh. <laughs> and, but I would say, Sue has more of a tighter grip. With, her vagina. Yes. Oh, okay. She's tighter pee pee. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. I, I, uh, I understand that. Okay, Jordan, go ahead. Keep, tell your story. I wasn't going to say anything. Tell your story. It's our story. Go ahead. You never get to speak. What's which story? Um, what's the first one we ever had? <clears throat> uh, key. Oh, that guy? Let's, oh. Let's give him the name. No, just say his name. Oh, I guess he would probably never. He doesn't know who we're talking about. His name is Kimmy. Okay. We don't even know if we're pronouncing it right. Yeah. But I, that one's like a weird... It was our very first official Let's penetration. Let's do Alan. But we have to start with our very first one. But his was weird. We'll, we'll right. just make it a short story. Basically, it was the day before my birthday. just want to point that out. I was turning 17 the next day. And we met in a hotel room. This and was our first... Not to interrupt, but this was our first time getting paid for it. Oh, so yeah. now we are with an... He's like a professional man. He's like... Yacht, he didn't send us any like real pictures because you're at least like, send me one in front of like the fridge or like with the number four, right? He wouldn't send us any pictures. So I, for sure, because I was experienced in the whole act, thought that we were going to not meet anybody. Mm -hmm. But he sent us to this um, hotel in Selma... Um, which is right outside of Fresno. It's like probably 30 minutes away. Mm -hmm. And we met him there. And then, and we had decided on how much? $200? $300. $300, so $150 for each Well, of we us. actually met him at a Walgreens, I think, beforehand. And he bought some champagne. So then we then met back at the hotel, and then we went in. And he was really weird about it. He made us wait for him to go in, so then nobody would think that we were escorts or anything, which... I mean, I mean, we're going in there for like an hour and then coming yeah. out, two young girls, <laughs> but whatever. It doesn't matter. So then we went in there. I can't really remember that much about it, honestly. We sat down on the bed. He opened the bottle of champagne and it exploded all over the bed and the floor. And his so, pants. And his pants. So it was very like... Mm, it was awkward. It was. It was very awkward. But then, and it was daylight too, I think. Yeah, it was. It was definitely not, normally, it was awkward for me as well because it was the most I was ever getting paid for a sex act. And I had done it in a hotel before, but it was always at night and it was like a sleazy, it wasn't like a motel, but it definitely wasn't like that. It was a holiday inn. But like, it was like one of the nicer ones that has like a theme of like cottage or whatever. Okay. Yeah. And... We went in, yes, he opened the champagne. I think the TV was on of, like, maybe, like, the things to do in Selma. I don't think the TV was on. I, don't th I think it was on, but it was on the – it had no volume. Oh. Because it was oh, just, no. like, showing things that you could be doing. Oh, okay. I see. And um, he – I don't remember. Did he take off his pants? I can't remember. I don't remember how it started. I guarantee you it started with head because that's how I always like to start everything because that's my strong suit. Mm -hmm. uh. Probably. Yeah. And I think I took most of the action because you were uncomfortable because it was your first time yeah. doing something for money. And with an older man. But he wasn't even that old. How old was he? Like, probably 30. He was probably late 30s. Yeah. But still, that was the oldest man I had been with at the time. Not me. Okay. <laughs> so, um, we started with that, and then he he liked doggy style. We did talk about our boundaries beforehand. Okay. Oh, yeah. And we did tell him no anal. And we, I don't think we even had any other. That was just the one. I think he asked about like birth control, probably because all of them do. And we were like, if anything, we'll just get a plan B because we're already getting paid. And so, 
But when you're there, what I want to emphasize is when you're having sex or doing anything for money, you are at the will of that the person that's paying. It right. goes into like customer service, really. Yeah. You can't be rude, like you can't be a bitch, and you can't really set too many boundaries. So right. you have to be close. Like, would I prefer not to have to buy a Plan B? Yeah, but then he can't nut inside me, and I already set the boundary of no anal. So like, everything else gets thrown out the window. Yeah. yeah. So like, if he wants a deep throw, even though I'm I have a really bad gag reflex, like that's that's how I have to do it. Yep. Go ahead. And then I don't. We I had really remember. You, are you going to talk about Alan? Alan's going to be your story. So start to think about that. Well, we can just g- we're in this together. Just tell the stories together. Okay, but I want you to speak. Oh you know, I am. Uh... Okay, so we're with Ki- Kimmy, and he puts us in uh, doggy. And I don't remember where you are. I think I'm. No, so I'm underneath you. Yeah. So like we, just Jordan and I are basically in missionary, mm-hmm. and I'm on top in missionary, but I'm getting doggy styled <laughs> so essentially he could like pull it out of me and put it straight into her okay. two different positions okay. and he oh my god oh my god he takes it out and he starts to put it in and it goes into my asshole but unlike <laughs> other men where it's like you can feel like okay they just touched my asshole but now they're going back into my vagina that did not happen he went into the asshole intentionally and then I scooted my ass away like a dog. She got right off the I bed. Tucked that, <laughs> tucked that ass real quick. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And I walked, like duck walked, all the way to the bathroom, repeatedly saying, no, 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 no. And I left Jordan because at that point, you're on your own, bitch. I have like a fire going on in my ass right now. Yeah, so she went to the bathroom and then I'm just laying there. And then he's kind of just looking at me. And then I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> but then he starts wanting to have sex with just me. And then what did he do? He tried to put it in my fucking asshole. And I was like, no, no. But then he actually listened, I will say that. But and I was still in the bathroom. Yeah. I had to, like, look at myself in the mirror and be like, Jesus. <laughs> it hurt. It did. It felt like it literally, like, like burning, like a fire. Yeah. My anus. Then, like long diarrhea. story short, we got over, or we we got done, and then he nutted on our faces. I think yeah, he, I think he wanted to do a facial. Oh, and then it went straight in my eye, and I had contacts in, and so then my eye was flipping out, and so I had to take my contacts out real quick, ran to the bathroom, and I had to take them out, and then I actually drove there, so then I couldn't drive home because I couldn't see, and then I had to recover from that for a while, for a couple of days. And then this man had the audacity oh, yeah. <laughs> to ask us if the next time, because he was going to be in town for a couple of months on his project, that the next time was going to be, what, 200 Like, so no, less- bitch. Yeah. yeah. You don't get a discount because you're a repeating customer. Like, first of all, you put it in my ass and didn't say anything. I want to emphasize, he didn't say sorry. He didn't say anything. Yeah, he wasn't a big talker. No. And you nutted in her eye and also didn't say anything. Like, don't you think if two girls had to take two separate breaks because of the th- actions that you were making, that, like, you might owe us an apology or, like, next time I'll do better. Definitely not. Do I get a decrease in... In pay. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, he was weird. I hate that guy. But that was our introduction to threesome. So then I had to convince Jordan even more to do a ne- another time. But I think the pay did help. Yeah. It was exhilarating. Yeah. For me, at least. Would you have a threesome again? Yes. But the thing is, uh, with my partner right now, she, we've, I've actually brought up the, like, the situation or like the fantasy. Like, oh, how, you know. Mm-hmm. She's been telling me about, like, oh, with my past partners, we've done this, but she's never done threesome. I was like, would you, be ever, would you ever be open to a threesome? She says, yes. And I was like, with a guy or with a girl? She's like, oh, with a girl. Okay, case in point. She's like, but if we do plan to have a threesome, it's like, you can't do anything to her. Mm. So I was like, okay. She's like, Any, anything you want to do is going to have to be to me, and then I can please the girl, but you can't please her. I was like, okay. Not even penetrate? I know. So, you'd... I think it's like the fear of like having yeah me wanting to do it with the other partner more than my partner. Yeah. Let so. me, hold on. I have 
notes from my previous threesome thing with okay. two guys, but some of them apply, I think, to this one. So okay. I'm going to go get my notebook real quick. Did you feel like you were, this isn't a question, but I want to ask it anyway. What? Did you feel like you were like the captain? Like you were giving most of like, you can touch her this way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't, I don't think there was any boundaries set in place. Mm-hmm. So I, I guess it was like free range for me to do anything if I wanted to, but at the same time, I want to be courteous. What if she doesn't like something? So I guess it was like kind of a bit scared to to an extent. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, I have, this has nothing to do with threesomes, but just in general, you're the first guy that I've had that's straight on my podcast. So when you have sex with a girl, because a lot of the craze right now is like, pull my hair, spank me, choke me. Do you like automatically do that when you have sex with a girl? Um, yes and no. I would probably kind of ease into it. Mm-hmm. I'm probably like, I'll probably just touch her ass for a second. And if she like, like spank me, I was like, I'll spank her. Or like, if where whenever like the thing is the deed is done like we're done having sex she'll tell me like oh i liked it when you like talked dirty to me or i liked it when you praised me or i liked it when you did this mm-hmm. at that point i'm like okay so i can do more of this it was like oh i didn't like it when you did this it's like oh like i'm very like receptive. i don't really like that yeah so oh. i was like okay so i guess yeah i'll be receptive of it and i'll be like okay next time i won't do this and then i'll do more of this i see so you only do like mild things in your first time yes what if she's like do you take like her moans into account like if she's like moaning yes. yeah i guess like for a female one the more moans like at the same time there's plenty of girls that can probably fake a moan i do yeah so, guilty yeah so I, at this point you're just playing blind you don't know what they really like <laughs> yeah <laughs> no the first time i ever got choked i did i don't like to be choked which okay. is surprising because i'm a masochist so you'd think i would but the first time i ever got choked <laughs> It was with this guy, and I accidentally let out a moan of pleasure, but I don't know why that <laughs> came out. And then he thought I liked it, so then for the fo- like the next couple of months that we had sex, he just kept on doing it, and I absolutely hated it. But because I initially moaned pleasure, he, he thought that I liked it, and I think he verbally said, "Do you like that?" And then I and then I was in a quarter because I just <laughs> moaned in pleasure. So then I was like, "Yeah." Oh okay, God. so that was gonna be my question. There. At that point, did you just? moan again or did you say anything i well after that we started transitioning to like more like biting and like more physical things so i think i just distracted him like when he tried to reach his hand up i would like take it and like bite it or take it and like put it somewhere else okay but i don't think he ever knew but (laughs) that's the first time so be careful because somebody might let out an accident accidental moan of pleasure like me that's so sad do you, yeah, so I my question that you reminded me of was, I think many people for fear threesomes because they're scared they'll get jealous. Did you have any apprehensions about that? Because you were in a partner. So what if your partner liked the girl more? <laughs> if she liked it more, I was like, I, hopefully I'm in that situation where I was like, I guess you liked it more, but can I still be in then your next threesome? I see. So you would have taken a breakup as long as they would have been like, the next time we need dick, you're the call? Yeah, but I don't know about a breakup. Like at this point, me and um this partner we were dating for like three years almost. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I was like, you're pretty secure. Yeah. Okay. I hope. Well, obviously not, because eventually broke up. We broke up for mutual terms. Oh, like, good. Like we're still best friends to this day, and she has a partner now, and she has a kid now. Oh. So, but me and her stayed close friends. Just probably because we started off as best friends. We didn't date right off the bat. And then maybe a couple months in, after me and her started like talking more and more, we became official and started dating. I see. So that friendship maintained. Yeah. And that's the thing. One thing like I told him, I was like, if I'm in a relationship, I value the friendship as well. So like, let's just say me and her ended up on bad terms. Best believe I'm not talking to her again. So I was like, I would rather have you as a friend now and then like later on in the future, still as a best friend, than, you know, just cut you out of my life completely. Yeah. So. Good. Um, are, the th- are the positions that you do limited because of there being three people? I don't think so. Did you think like when you were doing doggy, did you ever think that like, uh, what was the name? Maria was going to get like excluded 
I know because Maria would like give, you know, either get head or, you know, do something else with Sue while I was penetrating Sue or vice versa. When I was with Maria, either she was giving me head, um, Sue was like getting her vagina like uh, fingered. played, yeah, played yeah. with, yeah. So I don't think there's probably too much blockage there. Nice. Did you do, uh, let's think of a good classic threesome position. How about like uh, Sue writing your face as Maria was yeah. on top? Well, it was mainly like doggy style. I was penetrating either Sue or Maria while the other one was like on top of the one penetrating space. What would you, oh, you know what would be a good position if you ever have another threesome? Not, I guess not with your current partner because this wouldn't work. But if you were penetrating one on the floor. Okay. And then the other one was on the bed, like, facing you so that you could turn and eat her out. Okay. That'd be crazy. That's crazy. Imagine. I'm thinking about it. I was like, how Would you big... breathe? No. <laughs> There's no problem with that. No, but um, will one of the partners be underneath the bed? Because at this point, like... No, you'd have to turn your head. Oh. Yeah, you'd, you'd, be, be like, you'd be parallel, oh, yeah. to but the then you'd have to turn. turn. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. More, it's more sense. I was like, yeah. I don't know, like, <laughs> there's that distance. But she could be under the bed, too, if she wants to be, like, degraded, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> like, lay under the bed while I fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yes, daddy. Uh, ultimately, oh, this is, mm, I don't think it applies to you. Did you secretly favor one person over the other? No. Because you said one was yeah. tighter than the other. I think I would have pleasured, even though Sue was my partner, I would pleasure or um, I would have Prefer. preferred Maria. I see. Mm -hmm. So because why? Maria was more of a um, exhibitionist. She was not afraid to try anything. I see. At the same time, she was a lot more sexually active than um, Sue. Right. So she was more experimental. Yes. So she'd be willing to, like, try anything. Yeah. I see. Do you value that? Uh, yeah, to an extent, I guess. Yeah. Okay. You want to hear about Alan? Sure. <laughs> We've had sex with him how many times? Like five or six? Yeah, quite a bit. He was a frequent. Frequent. Our first, like, that's when we think of having sex with men, at least for me. Think of Alan. I think of Alan. Yeah. He paid $600 every meet at least, offered to buy me clothes on one of the nights when I had work the next day. Most he was definitely the richest person that we've both had yeah, sex with. It was the nicest house I think I've ever been in. He owned, like, essentially a mountain. Like, yeah. he had 26 acres, and that doesn't count, like, the... Because it was on a mountain, so it doesn't count, like, the land... If that makes sense. <laughs> Hold on. Let me make... So I guess like property land? Yeah. It was square mileage. So like okay. if you were to just walk it, it, it would be much longer. It doesn't count the, the height. of The, the height. Mountain. Yes. Thank you. So our first time... First of all, he was very odd because we definitely... Th I thought... And I'm the most adventurous one that wants to believe the best in people. But we met at like 11 o'clock. We drove all the way up. It's called Shaver. It's like 30 minutes outside of Fresno. And we drove all the way up this mountain, like in like curvy terrain, and we met him. Yeah, I definitely thought he was going to kill us. And he was like sending us random pictures of like, this is my estate, like this is my, this is the view from my bathtub. And it was like, it looked like we were going to like the woods to get murdered. Yeah. Definitely. We I'm definitely, those like looking back at it, we definitely should not have uh, done that at done night. That at, at night, yeah. But in general. We should have met in... Um, a public place. <laughs> yeah. But we met him down uh, down on his hill, like right before you go all the way up. And then we said hello or whatever. And then he said, follow me. So then we followed him up to his house. And then, are you looking for the pictures? I found him. He's saved under a uh, shaver, shaver guy. <laughs> okay, so he would send us, this is later on in our relation, in our, yeah, relationship. We had a, yeah. Uh, he sent us this to show that it was snowing. That's his main house. So okay. on his property, he had his main house. Then he had like an RV garage. It was huge. Then he had a guest house. I think he had two, two guest, guest houses. houses. Yeah. And his main house had like 
four or five bedrooms. Probably had more than that. And his whole, like, upstairs was his master bedroom. It was, or downstairs. It was nice. Mm -hmm. The nicest house I've ever been in. Ever. Let's see. I want to show you the view from the bathtub. That's the picture I'm looking for. And if this part, I'll show you. Uh, Should I show them, or is that, like, too much? That's too much. Just go to the, see all. Let's see if we can get a picture of him. Oh, yeah. Also, he wears, like, chains. This is a picture that he sent us. I don't know about that much. Also, he told us he was, what, like, 37? Yeah, he's not. He's He's definitely 50-something. Yeah, he was late 50s, probably. These are all of his pictures. I like him. With that same, like, duck face. Let's see. He's so cute. We also made him send a picture with a popcorn bowl on his head. In front of the microwave, I think. That was him. He actually To make did sure it. he was real. So. So we were taking mild precautions. Yeah. Lots of pictures of his car. Where's the one? The one. I just. Want... Oh, here. He would send us pictures like this. That were like. They look like stock photos. Yeah. Stock photos of like perfect sunset view. Yeah. Anyway. So we go to meet him. Mm-hmm. And we know that we're going to stay the night. We've talked about it, I believe, mm-hmm. and we know that we're going to get drunk because um, it makes everything more fun. So we get drunk. We. He's also playing very loud music. Oh, that was his main. He didn't have TV on at any Eddie, point. I don't. He. I think he had like one TV in the whole house. Yeah, he did. And it was not. upstairs to play video games. Yeah, one time he walked in. What was he playing? Like Madden? No, was it like... was baseball. Oh, it's like yeah, MLB. Yeah, <laughs> I think we played with him. Man of culture. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and he was a chain smoker. So oh imagine this immaculate house with like everywhere you would turn, there's like black American spirits everywhere. Packs. And he would get like by the carton. I swear, I, he probably went through at least a pack a day. Oh, it was intense. Um, he just reeked of cigarettes and yeah. BO. And he had like, yeah, he had some, I don't know about BO, but it was definitely a manly. It was like sweat. Yeah. But he also, like, his body soap, because we eventually showered, it smelled like the way he smelled. And we showered, like, multiple times. It didn't honestly gross me out that much. It didn't. Did, yeah. It that was what sense, I was trying to get at. It made sense to, for him to smell like that. Yeah. So he smelled like cigarettes and, like, Axe. And his house is immaculate. He never had the TV on. The music is blaring. He was a music engineer, a musical, a sound engineer. Mm-hmm. So he was really into rock. And very loudly. And he had a whole bar. He would, like, make us drinks. That was the first time I ever tried moonshine and absinthe. Absinthe? Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we got drunk. And really drunk. Very drunk. That's what you get with moonshine. That's, like, pure gasoline at this point. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. The moonshine was after I'd had, like, four shots. So at that point, you don't really taste the alcohol. So Mm -hmm. I was like, bring it on. So we went to his gorgeous bedroom and... His bed was huge. It had the view of like everything because he had big windows. Oh my God. I miss, I miss that house. <laughs> Me too. So we... Oh yeah, the house also, side note, is burnt down now. Does not exist anymore. The whole house or just... The whole house. I, ple- I think so. That's what he told us because there was a huge fire right, up there. Right, yeah. And... Yeah, that was I'm, really sad. Yeah. I feel really bad for he put a lot of money in that house, too. Yeah, he was just redoing it all and everything. Mm. Do you I think we bad. want a refund now? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so we had sex with him. I don't remember all this. Oh, I'll tell you a memorable story. I puked on his dick. This was the guy that, like, um, I swallowed it all, but one little tiny droplet <laughs> popped out of my mouth as I was giving him head. And then on the bed. After he finished, that he was the guy that flicked it off the bed. The puke. The puke. Because, like, one little I, a piece of food. Oh, you swallowed the puke. I swallowed the puke. Okay. Because I'm a champ like that. <laughs> okay. And I cannot right. embarrass myself. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I swallowed the puke, but one little, it came out with such force. Because the first time I puked, it was a little bit. And I swallowed that. Nothing came out. But then as I kept going and kept thinking about the fact that I just swallowed my puke, I puked again, but this time with a bit more force. So at the second time, the more forceful time... <laughs> That little bit of whatever food it was popped out my mouth. But then I swallowed that. 
I tried to think about something else and he came and then he suggested we get in the shower, which was not irregular. But as he was walking away, uh, right where his dick was, because he was standing and I was on the edge of the bed, mm. he like looked down and saw the piece of whatever it was. I mean, I'm sure he could feel it. Has a girl ever thrown up on your dick? No. I'm sure he could feel it. I mean, it's warm. It's warm, a flush of liquid. Oh, okay. Yeah, at that point. Yeah, he's ha- he had to have known. But the thing is, he didn't really care. So I swallowed it for no reason, is what you're telling me. I would assume so, yes. I, okay, I well, know. I swallowed it, and he afterwards, like, saw it on the bed. I was hoping nobody would see it. I was going to search for it when he left. And he, like... Do <laughs> you think you tried to, like, cover it? I definitely I did. And then he was like... He saw it, and he flicked it, and then I was like... What is, what is that? That's weird. It must be all the snot. I'm like crying and like yeah. snot's coming mm. out. So I don't know what that could possibly be. No one damn well what it was. And Jordan knew what it was. I had the perfect view. I was just minding my own business. <laughs> and I just see boop. So that was one of the stories. Then the story about him fingering you. Oh, yeah. He was big, I think, into pleasuring us. But we don't necessarily like that. Um, because it's most of the time the guy's just not good. And it is, you just have to fake, fake it. it the whole time. And it's, anyways, he was, he was going in between, we were both on our back on the bed. So he was going in between eating her out and eating me out. And so he was, while he was eating one of us out, he would finger the other one. And so, um, he was eating her out. And so he was fingering me, but for some reason he thought he could fit his four <laughs> fingers. No, it's because he was playing a game. Where, first of all, he was trying to understand what both of us like, because oh, he I gave us, like, a that. report afterwards <laughs> of, like, you like more pressure, and you like less, but more movement. Like, he gave us a report, and he was trying, at that point, when he was fingering you, to see how many fingers you could take. Okay. But knowing either one of us, I think both of us would have done the same thing. You just have to act like you like it, no matter what. I'm not going to tell him to stop. Again, highest paying customer. Why would I tell him to stop? So yeah. I just had to bear through it. And... <laughs> I was going to say, he, you could not fit four fingers in there, and his fingers kind of thick. And so his fingernails were also not clipped very well. They weren't jagged, but they, they were kind of long. They weren't jagged, but they were long for a man. You mm. would expect man to have sh- very short fingernails. Especially if he knew what he was going to be doing. Yeah. And so then I just had, oh, God, I wanted to cry so bad. I was like, this hurts. It hurts so fucking bad. And then I think he eventually stopped, and then... I think he might have had it on his fingers, but I started bleeding. He literally cut me inside. And then I think I got it all over the sheets, but I don't know what he thought. I don't think we ever talked about it. I don't know if he thought that I had started my period or something or he did it because we never said anything. I think anything. he thought you started your period. Well, didn't you also start I, your period? I did period? also start my period there once while we spent the night. Okay. But this was the second, I think this was before or after that happened. That man, that poor man. And so he had to change his sheets or whatever. But he, again, doesn't really care. He showed no no caring of anything. Mm-mm. He was a very accepting man. I love that man. Yeah, we do love him. We miss I him. I hope he's still doing well. Alan, if you hear this, first of all, I don't think that's your real name, Alan. But if the if you know who you are, we miss you. Yeah. Don't know if we do it again, but we miss you. I would do it again. Okay, then I definitely would. Yeah. Because as yeah. you know, <laughs> anything for that paycheck. <laughs> I would um, do it for free, Alan, just for the time's sake. Okay, well, not everybody can be as generous as you, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> so then there was, Alan was by far my favorite. Then there there's was, a lot of. Oh, I shaved his ball sack. Yeah. That was that guy. He was like, Tally, do you want to shave my, shave me? And he like gestured to his balls, and I've never been so honored in my life. <laughs> I said, of course I do. And so we went into the, and I don't, I didn't think you were in there. I was just laying on the bed. Yeah, she was just laying on the bed. We went to the shower. We had our little I think I went shop. in there just to check on it. Yeah. I was like, wait, you guys Didn't doing? give him any head. I like tried my best. I like pulled the scrotum, try and give him a yeah. nice. She really got in there. I got in there. He needed a nice helping hand. You okay. Down to the gooch? Down to, is that the taint? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think he just wanted it because I was like, do you want me to actually like go in? And then he was like, no, it's just like. Nice to see that another girl is doing that, and it's hot that we don't have to be having sex. Got it. He wasn't that hairy, I don't think. No. He also had a very large penis. Oh, we left that out. Yeah. He's like nine inches. Yeah. And he is one of his favorite things to do, at least just to me, because he did give us a 
quote unquote report after one of the times. And he said, this is what we just know. We take this for every single time after. The tally gives better head, but my vagina is tighter. And so he would, I think, favor penetrating me. And so he did this thing where he would, I don't know how to describe it, a missionary. And then he would do like little tiny pumps in and out. Mm -hmm. And then he would take it all the way out. And then he would. He would. (laughs) Like slam slam that boy in. Well, that's funny because I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that. I've never had it out of... We've had sex with a lot of people. Well, it's not it's, good, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's just... it. De- I guess it depends on the person because I just wasn't expecting it. It was my first time ever having that. Got it. And my only time ever having that, so I was kind of like, mm, what the fuck? But also, he had a very large penis. I feel like you have to have a... You have to a, have like a nice a, five inch. Like an average for that to actually feel good because it just went straight up in the top of it. Hit the... Okay. Yeah, I guess that into that scenario, yes, but like slowly putting it in, taking it out, and oh, then yeah. like, yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done that, or like, you know, just to like make it more suspenseful, I guess. Yeah. But then I, the ramming part, I'm not sure. I think it would just not fall through, just kind of go all the way in, yeah. just not ram yeah. it. Yeah, you rammed it. No, it, it was, was like, like hard. The point is okay. like, boom. Like I, I like I thought he was in my stomach. At and that also, point. Jordan, you did not like it because that was the I time. I didn't say I did. Oh, well, Jordan <laughs> and I had to develop uh, ways of communicating when we were with Alan. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, it was like we went home. I think after the whole blood incident, I think it might have been the same night as the thrust. Okay. When we were like, okay, if because he would also be like, you can eat her out, right? And it would be, oh shoot, sorry to myself um if you don't want to be eaten out because i didn't want to like that's too much i can fake it without you doing it it's not doing anything for me but like making the bed wet and like whatever so like if we didn't want it we would squeeze each other we would like pinch each other in a certain way that was like you can fake it so there was multiple times when i would just like rest my face to get face against jordan's vagina and she would just be pretending like i was giving the best head she's ever had and it's similar vice versa yeah and it was like, if something hurts, like it's your, there's lots of things because we're the two girls and we're the two partners where it's like, if you, for example, if the thrust is too much for you or like sometimes in doggy style, I feel, I feel it in like the back, my back and it does not feel good. It's like, if you want to get out of that situation, you have to signal to the other person to be like, oh, give me a turn, you know, Got like, it. stop that to help your other person. That we also funny. loved the positions where we could actually look at each other because <laughs> <laughs> whoever was getting pleasured would just like, would keep making the noises, but they would be like this. And then we would laugh at each other. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> or like, I distinctly remember the one time when I was on top of you, I think, or you were facing me and I was like, help me, please. Yeah. Help me, please. <laughs> but then you were still making the noises like you were yeah. <laughs> having fun and I had to try to not laugh because it was so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> especially like, actually there was one time when he wanted to do deep throat and he was like you're, I'm gonna fuck your face and you're gonna get ready for it mm-hmm. and I remember squeezing Jordan's arm so <laughs> hard because I have such a bad gag reflex it must have been that one time <laughs> where I puked okay but yeah there was lots of funny moments because yeah, I'm I am the deep throater she's so the deep throater. we have our specialties specialties yeah okay. but Alan's a, yeah he's good we never really had any bad times. Mm-mm. We got drunk every single time. Go great times. Yeah. We went out to lunch with him once. That was nice, too. Yeah. We made him top ramen. Oh, yeah. He, had, he, he did have, like, good snack foods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I got high once at his house, smoked his weed, felt horrible, thought I was going to die. That was, I guess, the worst part, but I got over that. I know how to deal with that myself. The weed part or the just... The weed part. Oh. I also had the worst cotton mouth, too. and He, he was also many rounds. Many rounds. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I know exactly yeah. what you're going to say. <laughs> His favorite thing, I would say, favorite thing, is we would have sex, whatever. We would lay down to go to sleep. I was always in the middle. That was just how it was. And, of course, I'm going to turn to Tally because I don't want to be cuddling him. And Even though I did. And he, didn't he really like 
to um uh didn't he really like to be cuddled yes i thought so he liked didn't he want to be in the middle i think so but he made a comment once and then we were like okay we have to i think we did put him in the middle because i mean again can't say no to that yeah and um so his favorite thing was i was in the middle and I would turn towards Tally, and then he would turn t- turn towards me. So I was the middle spoon. Mm-hmm. We would lay down to go to sleep. And, like, this is, like, five minutes. So I'm, like, you know, trying to go to sleep. Mm, he would start. Start the, with the little grinds. Yes. Start with the grinds. And then I could feel his dick getting harder and harder. And then he would get faster and faster. So then me and him had sex right there. And I would try to wake up Tally, even though she was awake. <laughs> okay, she was awake. okay. For the first couple of times that he did that, I did. Okay, yeah. I went in. I understood what was hap- what the assignment was. Because I would and I squeeze her. I was like, "Help me! I can't just do this myself." <laughs> and so the first couple of times she did, but this one specific time, <laughs> she was fast asleep, or she just she was <coughs> not asleep. She was awake, and I kept trying. I said, "Come on!" I think I was hitting her too. I was like, "Come on!" <laughs> and nope, not not a budge. I she was a hundred percent awake. Yeah, she did not move. So then I had to have sex with him by myself, and it was a whole thing. And it... I didn't want it anymore. Like, damn. <laughs> but I had to endure. Like, he just wants to, I, if, yeah. The good thing is, is it didn't last very long. He did not pretty quickly. Sometimes. Sometimes I feel like he could I feel go like it was when time. he wanted to. hmm But once he realized that we could go multiple rounds, he, I think he just allowed himself to come whenever he wanted. Yeah. Go again. yeah. Yeah. Which is surprising for a man his age. Yeah. He's in pretty good shape, I would say. Yeah. So, yeah, those are our, those are our highlights. Yeah, we have many other ones, but I think this could go on forever. Yeah. Would you do that again? Like, pay someone to have another threesome, or would you just be open to it? Get paid or pay someone? Get paid. Um, I per- you want me to answer? Yeah. I personally would. I, you know, the bags before everything. <laughs> I don't know. Because there have been issues in the past. So yeah. right now in my mental health journey, because mental health is important, I would say no. Not good. But later on, yeah. But if it was with somebody that we knew, because we had problems with like people preferring one person over the other. Right. And making mm-hmm. it obvious. Mm-hmm. Making it really obvious. Because I can handle so much. I feel like... Like you said, that your your current partner wouldn't want you to do anything to the other girl, and so um, I feel like I was like that whenever we went into our first one. But I feel like it's different when you're actually in the situation. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's not that big of a deal anymore Mm-mm. to a certain point, unless they unless like you were only fucking the other girl and not really paying attention to your partner. Right. And so that's where it causes problems. And we had a situation like that. And it was not good. Not good at all. But I definitely feel like it's much different in the situation. So, But if we had, like, a guy that we knew, yeah. like, we've already done it with, that we know likes each of us for our own strengths, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's just that risk because we did have that one bad one. Right. And it kind of fucked me up a lot. Yeah. And so I don't know if I'd be willing to risk that, yeah, again. Yeah. But we actually did have one semi-recent, who was Carter, and um, <laughs> he was I just a mess. I this don't is, know if we should get into that. This is why we don't have sex with younger men. Yeah, because he I was mean, the youngest one. He was like our age. Yeah, and they just don't know what to do. They get too excited. They just like, I mean, this guy thought it was going to be like a walk in the motherfucking park. Like he was laying down. He wanted everybody to ride him, and he didn't want to. And he wanted to film it, and he wanted to a double blowjob. It was just like, you're too young, you're doing too much, you're going to take what we give you because you're not paying. He wasn't paying. Oh, yeah, no. We that only did it. a question. Oh, we only did it because we were in an open relationship, and he was on my Tinder. And so I kept saying no to him because we matched or whatever. I kept saying no to him, and I felt bad at that point. I was like, I got to do it. But then I didn't want to do it alone because I just knew how it was going to be, and so then Tally agreed to do it. So then he came over here, and we did it. Also because he worked for a prominent football team in the area. Yeah. And so we wanted, it was like nice. 
like, I fucked somebody that worked for the blank. Yeah. We'll say, we'll say the Raiders, because that's my favorite team. But he did not work for the Raiders. And he was just, I mean, we played, what, Mario, Super Mario Brothers in the beginning? Like, he didn't know how to make a move. He, but he did buy us in and out Oh, yeah, we drove to in and out the one right here. Um, and I was sitting in the passenger seat, and I was giving him head in the in and out drive through As he was fingering As me was, in the back seat. Yeah. And he was on the phone call. There was a, a lot. work phone call, work right? Work phone call, yeah. yeah. He was like, yeah, brother, just yeah. Uh, send that over to my <laughs> desk. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty fun, actually. But then we just recently saw two people making out in the in and out drive through and I had the thought somebody definitely saw my head going up and down in that drive through because we could clearly see them making out. So I was like, ah, whatever. I'm pretty sure their workers would have seen you too. It, probably. No, because there was no worker out there taking orders. Oh, it, oh yeah, he did. He ordered at the... the, the no, right, but when you would pick up your food or did that stop after? Oh, we it stopped. stopped. Oh, okay. Stopped right when we got... Um, I think I continued while he was ordering. While he was ordering, yeah, but once we got inside of the window, yeah. I think God. he, like, waistbanded it. Well, I think I waistbanded it for him, because I was like, I'm not doing this right here. So yeah, I yeah. put it in the waistband. <laughs> yeah. Close it up. <laughs> Anyways. So, I guess you didn't really get to share that much. We had a lot to unpack. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, mine was just a one-time issue, I guess, or a one-time deal. So, would you do it with your current partner's... Um, rules um uh, yes you would be just, willing to yeah just so she can have like a feel to it or like see kind of have the experience it mm-hmm. yeah i'm not sure if it's going to be like the whole experience but at least for her to have an experience of it okay that's good that you're willing to it's very nice i'm not sure if she will but yeah I'm just... would you do it with two guys no <laughs> i don't think so why not i don't know i think it's just the mentality i guess like, think you're gonna see a pee pee hard <laughs> yeah yeah, I'm like, I'm like, uh, at some point, if you look at it, at this point, it's just the devil's three way. Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, no. I see. Just for my preference. I see. What if you tried to put it in your booty hole? Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, my booty hole has not been touched. No? No. You got to get a tongue in there. It's relaxing. It it's, is. It's like a massage. It's relaxing. It's funny because my partner's like, oh, you want you wouldn't want to take a finger. I was like, no. <laughs> a finger is much, but you got to start with a little tongue. Like maybe she's going on the balls and then she just flicks a tongue right down there. See, I always make this joke with her. I was like, I have not touched. No one has touched my booty hole since I was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and that's the only time this thing belongs to this person. <laughs> As a joke. It's and a I was property like, of. <laughs> 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 but and just jokes aside, I'm just like, no. She's like, if. You want to do it to me, I have to do it to you. I was like, I can wait then. Wow. Just let it. Let it happen. It's calming. It's so nice. It's like a relaxing spa. The only time this, there's something going on my ass is when I turn 50 and I have to go get that colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it so nice and smooth. <laughs> so liquidy down there. <laughs> Ew. No, but I've, I've actually heard, like, some people, like, they orgasm or, like, they finish faster if, like, something goes, like... Mm-hmm. In the butt, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, mm, I don't You just know. have to get past the mental thoughts. You just gotta... Yeah, what's easiest is when she's giving you head, if you just allow and not think about it. You can't think about it because then it's gross. Because that's is. where your shit comes out. Yeah. <laughs> but if you don't think about it and you let her tongue go down there, I promise you a million dollars if you're laying down is gonna be relaxing if you're not thinking about it. Mm, we'll see yeah i agree yeah T- she was a no-no with the butt oh yeah i was don't even look at it like <laughs> i don't want anything near it but then that exact situation happened and i was like oh this is relaxing i wouldn't say it was like sexually good like i Mm-mm. definitely wouldn't have nutted from it no but it was just like it's a different feeling place that you've never been touched before being touched is weird it's like it's nice it's like soft as long as you do it gently yeah yeah, yeah. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, did we persuade you at all to get your butthole licked? <laughs> I mean, I think probably like 2. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure, like, when my partner's giving me head, like, she goes for the balls as well. And then I'm pretty sure she goes down lower. So, I'm pretty sure at one point she might have touched it. Oh. Mm. 
to an extent. Okay. So if she did it again, you might not be opposed because you might not. No. Like, I might not know. Okay. I'm pretty sure every guy is like, no, there's something there. <laughs> there's like a little alarm that means like, no, there's something there, my boy. Well, your tongue can definitely go into an anus. Yes. I well aware of that. Oh, yeah. Duh. But I don't think it's more like just around it. It's, I'm telling you, man, it's a massage, man. It's so good, man. Anyways. Apparently, I'm a big, a big advocate, but this doesn't even happen to me very often. But stop looking at yourself in the camera. No, I was looking at how delayed the camera is. I was just making sure it was okay. Okay, so we're going to end things off, unless you have anything else you'd like to say. No. Okay, so a rate one out of ten for your threesome experience. I would say a ten. You'd for say my, a ten. For me. Well, yeah, five nuts. Yeah. At the same time, just because, like, with both partners who I've actually been intimate with individually, being together, I was like, okay, there's something. Yeah. So, so you yeah. knew both of them and their spots. Yeah. That's a good situation, I feel like, especially for your first three seconds. Right. I, yeah. I think it would be more weird or I would be, like, not as confident with, like, just some random person where, like, I don't know what they like. I, it's yeah. weird. Mm-hmm. And especially, like they're not comfortable with it or like they're like yes i just said yes like you know for Mm -hmm. the opportunity or just because they kept nagging i was like i don't know about this yeah i see but you knew that both of them were like yeah yeah down for it jordan your experience like overall overall threesome with with a me or a girl and a guy um i'd say like seven seven because of that one bad one yeah, and just like this situation, like you can't really say no, which yeah. isn't very. Um, what if we weren't getting paid? Then it would be like a th- four. Okay, so the the pay definitely adds something. Yeah, it 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 makes it a better even sexual experience. Okay, mine's probably a. Mine's probably. Mine's like a like a five. Because I feel like. I don't get. To, I really like to be the star, of the show, and with a threesome with another girl, it's like I'm sharing the spotlight. So but would you okay. do it with like two guys? Yeah, or, and oh, I have. Okay. You have to listen to the tally mark to get that story. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay then. We've all rated it, and your uh, rate of a, being on this podcast. I would say a ten. You'd say yeah. ten. Yeah. Good. Me too. Ten. Good. Yay. Okay, then. This is Tally signing off and Ezekiel signing off and Jordan signing off. Bye. You guys have a good whatever you're listening whenever. Yep. Have a good day. Have a good night. Listen to the Tally Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good sex life. <laughs>